back here today and today for this video for the morning video I'll be going over the top player at every position in my opinion and just off their card off their price all right so let's get all right so at quarterback I have Daniel Jones so I know you can say Vince Young maybe Unitas I don't think Unitas but Vince Young maybe but Daniel Jones gets the abilities you want set for the lead he has good speed he is in great accuracy I just think this card is just the top quarterback in the game right now he plays very well for me um Vince Young has the speed on him, but, I mean, a skate artist isn't really a factor like it was in Madden 20. Um, you know, you don't really need it on these kind of quarterbacks. So, like, Daniel Jones will escape the pocket just fine. And uh, unless your play style is running read options and, you know, scrambling out of the pocket, I think Daniel Jones is the top option in the game right now. All right, let's move on to running back. All right, and coming in here at running back, I have Reggie Bush. Now, I know what you're saying. I mean, Saquon Barkley can be here. I think he does get those really glitchy uh, break tackle animations, but I think Reggie Bush just is slightly better in every stat. 90 speed, 91 excel, 90 agility, really good. 85 carrying, 82 catch, which is obviously why he's in the game and why he's on your team. He gets backfield master for 1 AP, he gets the abilities. 91 change of direction, really good. 89 break tackle, trucking is, you know, it's, it's really whatever. You're not trying to truck with Reggie Bush. Catching traffic is really good for a running back and, and route running. Um, spin and juke, he can do stuff in the open field, especially, uh, as I mentioned before, the 91 change of direction. I just think this card's uh, better than Saquon in every category, and that's why I have him at running back for the best player at this position. All right, coming in here at fullback, I have Larry Zonka. Now, this is really a blowout. There's really no other fullbacks that can test him. 87 speed, 88 strength, 90 awareness, 90 carrying. Good catching for a fullback, and I, I love his balance between run blocking and and trucking, and he's able to do a lot of things. You can play this guy at ha uh, halfback if you want, if you're that kind of player. Um, but yeah, I, I think this card is just better than every other fullback in the game, and that's why I have him at the top player at this position. All right, coming in here, I'm, I'm going to do three receivers. At the, fir the first one, I think this is obvious. I don't think there's anyone close. Devin Hester. Um, I don't know what they did with this card this year. Usually he has terrible route running and just he's just fast. But, you know, this year they decided to give him 92 plus on all of his route runnings. Great catching, great speed. And he gets the ability, and they gave him route runner archetype. So he gets slot apprentice uh, in his third slot. Then he gets mid and elite and short and elite and route technician. He gets all of it. I just think this card just plays the best. I think he is the best. He's free as long as you grind out your levels. Um,. Yeah, and he and he can do stuff out in the open field too. 90 juke, 87 spin, 86 change of direction. This card is just better than every receiver. I don't think it's close. And yeah, that's why I have him here. All right, coming in here at wide receiver number two for this list, I have Joey Galloway. Now, I have him here because of his speed. 91 speed is the fastest card in the game. Base, no chems. Um... He's got good deep runner and good medium. I wish the short was a little better, but it's not. But I, I still have him here. That speed is incredible. Jumping's good for someone who's 5'11". Uh, catching, catching's good. Catching traffic's questionable. And spec catch is questionable. But that's got to take the top off of defense. Um, yeah, I, I just think he's here at number two right now. He's good change of direction. Good juke move. Spin move's not really there. But that speed, if you power him up, Get him, you know, if you have strategy cards, theme team, whatever you have, he will be, he, the max this guy can get to is 95 speed, which is incredible. Or actually 96 power him up. So, uh, yeah, that's why I have him here at number two. All right, and then my last receiver spot, I have Calvin Johnson. This really shouldn't be a surprise. 90 speed, 92 jumping. He's six foot five, 88 catching, 88 catching traffic, 90 spec catch. Route running's all above 85. Really good. He has good strength for a receiver. He's not really going to be able to do stuff in the open field since he's such a big body. He's a physical receiver. He's not really going to be able to do much. But him being six foot five is always such a good thing every single year in Mutt. Um, and, he's, he, and, he, and he's fast for this point in the year. 90 speed, power him up, 91. Chemistry, strategy cards, steam teams, whatever. Um, yeah, and that route running is already ab above 90. I, I wish the medium was a little bit higher. But, uh, yeah, I just think this card's really balanced. And his speed's up there, six foot five, two thirty six. I just think he's so good, and so and and the, and the height thing, on especially on next gen, he's gonna play like a monster. That's why I have him here at number three for receivers. All right, at the tight end position, I have Darren Waller. I, I know I said in the intro that I was gonna do off price. Obviously, if you don't have the coins or if you're not spending money, I would get Kittle. Kittle, I mean, is just for grinding to level fifty. I mean, I, I shouldn't say just, but um. 
Yeah, uh, I, I just think Waller's better in every category. He's six feet faster, and I don't even have strategy cards. I just have theme team. Um, I, I'm pretty sure he's better route running. Run blocking, obviously, you're not going to get the same as Kittle, but six foot six, two fifty five. He does it. He he is able to air truck. It's really helpful. His catching's good. Catching traffic's good. I wish, I wish I had, I wish I had the rare strategy card to get that medium up. It would get make him have more nice crisp routes. He gets tight end apprentice, just like George Kittle. Um, obviously, I still think Kittle's really good. He, uh, Kittle, I think, has eighty six speed powered up, which is it is really, 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 really a lot slower than Darren Waller. Um, but yeah, Kittle is still good. He gets those really glitchy break tackle animations. Um, so like out in the open field, if you try to hit stick George Kittle, bounce right off of it. Waller could get, you know, laid out once, twice. He, he won't fumble, he'll just get, you know, tackled. So yeah, that's why I have Darren Waller here. I do think he's better by a lot, but obviously if you can't afford him, go get Kittle, go get Kittle, power him up and do all that. So yeah, that's why I have Waller here. All right, guys, and at left tackle, I have Tyron Smith, the superstar MVP one or, or superstars card. Um, this card is just the best left tackle in the game. It's not close. Um, if he came, uh, well, for, for, first off, uh, especially that he comes with abilities, he comes with natural talent, I think that is. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not sure what the other ones are. I would have to look. Um, but, yeah, just, just across the board, the, the run block power is the only thing that's really, like, below average. But, um. I do think this card is the best left tackle in the game, uh, especially since he comes with abilities. I, I, I've i watched videos of guys that are, you know, uh, YouTubers that have him at left tackle. They never get really rushed off his side. He he, he just plays really well. I don't, there's not, there, I don't really have much to talk about with these offensive linemen, but uh, yeah, I have, I have uh, Tyron Smith at left tackle. All right, guys. And then coming here at left guard, I have John Hanna. This also isn't close. If you look at his stats, they're all above 85. Especially run blocking. That run blocking is incredible. You power him up. He has 90 run block. Uh, strength is there. Everything. Uh, just everything with this card is there. Um, he, is, he, um, he even has 72 speed, which isn't too bad for this point in the year. Probably with uh, higher cards, Larry Allen will obviously, uh, obviously be faster. But um, I do think this is the best left guard in the game. I don't really have much to talk about. So let's get into center. All right. Coming in at center, I have Mike Pouncey. Obviously, there's Bruce Matthews, but... I think Pouncey, he is just better in every stat like he, he is. Um, he is slow, so he won't, like, you know, lead blocking. I don't think he's really going to be doing that, though. Good run blocking, good pass blocking. There's good balance with this card. He, he He's above average in every category, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I just think he's the best center. I think, Bruce, I mean, Bruce Matthews is obviously good, but they're both really the same, like, they're, re they're really the same price. Um, so, yeah, I have Mike Pouncey here at center. All right, coming in here at right guard, I have Leonard Davis. For for these offensive linemen, I'm basically just doing highest overall. But this card's incredible. Just, it's incredible. 91 on his pass block, pass block power, run block, run block power. 88s on his finesses. 90 strength. This card is just the best left guard in the game. It's not close. I don't really have much to talk about. Let's go into right tackle. Okay, guys, here at right tackle, I have Jack Conklin. His strength's a little low. Doesn't really bother me, though. He has great run blocking. He has really good pass blocking. You power this card up, it'd be incredible. Um, I don't really have much to talk about here with this. With this, um, he's got decent speed. He has really good excel for his position. He's good awareness. I, that's really all I have to talk about. He gets edge protector. So yeah, let's get into the defense. All right, getting into the defense here. This one's obvious. Free safety. We're starting out with free safety. Sean Taylor came out yesterday. He is incredible. Ninety-one speed, ninety-one excel. Great hit power. Great zone. Good. And he is decent man. Good tackling. He's very physical. He'll make the plays out in the open field. Um, yeah, he has he has 85 tackling. He has good block shit too at 79. He's in for a safety. Power him up. That's above 80. Um, I think this card's really really good. Came out yesterday. He's got good speed. You power him up 92. If you have strategy cards, I've seen this card. You have the 95 speed, 94. And he can get it to 96. You have team team and strategy cards. Yeah, I just think this card's incredible. Like absolutely incredible. And l all right, let's get into strong safety. All right, guys, coming in here at strong safety. All right, so I, 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 I'm I, guessing what you're thinking right now. It's not Cam Chancellor, but this is the safety I'm playing back for me. I'll, uh, Cam Chancellor will be later in this video, but he has 93 speed on a Ravens team. He has, 90, he has 91 powered up, so he, he will get to everything. Um, he has 94 zone, incredible, 85 man, incredible for his position. 
Uh, he's decent tackling. I, I, I said in my lineup video, I always think Ed Reed gets absolutely uh, just done wrong with his hit power. He has 78 strength. That's really it. I, I just think this card is really, really good. So let's go into... I think we're going to do linebackers next. All right, coming in here at right outside linebacker, I have Derek Thomas. Um, I don't I, I, I don't think there's a high overall right outside linebacker. Still, if you wanted to move Kevin Green over, I think that's a bad option. Uh, Derek Thomas, I think, is better. 85 speed, really good speed. 87 excel, really good excel. Um, good. He, he It's just like Von Miller. He's, he's a good balance between power move and finesse move, and he has actually he's better finesse move than Von Miller. Uh, good block shed. He has good strength, so will he? He will get to the to the out. So if your opponent's running outside runs, and you have Derek Thomas on the edge, he will get to them. He will make plays. Eighty four tackling, um, eighty four agility. He's eighty seven excel. I think this card is just really, really, really good. His hit power is um his his hit power is ninety. He I, I'm pretty sure that means he will he could get an enforcer. I don't know if you want an enforcer there, but I just think Derek Thomas is good between speed. You can put him in a QB spy. Um, yeah, I think he's the top right outside linebacker option in this game right now. All right, guys, coming in here at left outside linebacker, I know what you're th uh, thinking. Kevin Green, right? No. I have Von Miller. I think that Kevin Green card is, his uh, finesse move is way too low in the, in the, in the, like, low 70s, I believe. Um, I think Von Miller's better. He's, he's good balance between the two, uh, po power move and finesse move. Good block should. If his strength was a little higher, we'd be able to get to everyone. I think that block shit still helps him out, though. 82 speed. He comes with edge threat, swim club, and speed. So that really that, that really puts him over the top for me. That's a, that's a lot of training with a spend on Kevin Green or Von Miller if you powered him up. He, he comes with all of it. You just gotta activate it. Um, he's 88 tackling. He has uh, 86 hit power, I believe. He's really, really good. Um, I've seen him play. I think he plays incredible. I've used him for a little bit. I don't have him anymore, but I think he is really, really, really good. So I have him coming in at the top. Left that side linebacker. All right, guys, coming in here, I'm gonna do three cornerbacks just like I did receivers. Cornerback number one, I think this he's the best cornerback in the game. I have Antro Roll, 90 speed, 87 man. I wish zone was a little bit higher, but you power him up, he gets above 85. Uh, and he's good excel. I, I think this card's just really good. He's fast. He's he is he has good man coverage, decent zone. Um, he's not really gonna be that physical. He do it. He do, he does have 72 hit power and 72 tackling. It's not bad for his position. 78 pursuit. Um, I think this card is going to play really well, especially on uh, zone coverage because his press is low. I, I know his zone stats low, but you power him up 85. You have strategy cards 85. 85 is really what you want to hit. Um, I think he will play good out in zone. And uh, yeah, I have him at my cornerback number one in the game. All right, guys. At cornerback number two, I have Philip Buchanan. 89 speed, 89 cell, 90 agility. Really good. Power him up. He gets above 90. Uh, same thing with Antro Roll. He is he's good man. You power him up, he gets above, or you, if you power him up, strategy cards, you get him above 85 zone. He will play good. He is a little short, but I don't really, uh, if you put Acrobat on him, he'll play just the same as, as Antro Roll or the next guy I have on the list. 86 jumping. Um, I do like this card. He has good hit power, 78. Tackling is a little bit, well, it's, it's, it's just normal for his position. He has good pursuit. He has good press. I think this card plays really well. Um, and yeah, I have him at cornerback number two. All right, let's move on. Guys, coming in here at my cornerback number three, I have Darrell Rivas. Just, just, just look at this the the, the line right there. Eight nine speed, eight nine excel, eighty eight agility, eighty eight jumping, eighty eight man or yeah, eighty eight man, eighty eight zone, eighty nine press, eighty six play rec. He is five eleven. I don't think that matter. I don't think height matters unless you're like five ten or below. Um, but yeah, you power him up or you have strategy cards. 90 speed, 90 excel. He 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 gets above 90 for most of his stats. I think this card plays really well. I used him at at uh, cornerback number three for a little while while um, I was trying to find someone for Marcus Peters. But I ended up having to put him in for uh, Ravens chem. But I do think this card is really good. I have him at cornerback number three in the game. So right now he probably will get overtaken soon. Maybe with Legends this weekend, next week or not not next week, but uh, really. But Team Diamonds coming out soon. Uh, yeah, most feared right around the corner too. So. I, I do think it will get overtaken soon, but I have him at cornerback number three right now. All right, guys, the left end here. We're going to move on to the defensive line. I have Montez Sweat. This card is incredible. 87 speed um, is just too good to not have on your team right now. Um, he really can be do anything. He has 89 finesse move. Power up, that's above 90. That's the threshold you want to hit for end game like power move, finesse move. Um, 
85 blocks, she had 81 strengths, a little low, but you really have him there for his speed and his excel. If, if he gets through the defense, the offensive line, he's getting to the quarterback. There's no doubt, unless he throws the ball away instantly, he's getting to the quarterback. He's faster than every quarterback, except for Vince Young. Um, I think this card's incredible, especially playing a defensive tackle for a, def for, for a QB spy if you need him, or just leave him there. 80, 89 finesse move will get through that line. Power move's a little low. You're not really worried about that, especially with the speed and the finesse move. This card is incredible. He, I think he's. I think he might be the best defensive end in the game. 88 hit power, 84 tackling. Um, yeah, I have Montez Sweat here at left end. I don't think it's close. So let's move on. All right, guys, at right end, and this is uh, specifically right end. So if you want to move Strahan or Reggie White or one of those guys over to right end, you can do that. But I'm just going to go by position. I have Marcus Spears. Um, I don't think it's close at right end position. 80 speed, which is actually really decent for Marcus Spears. I thought he would be way slower. 86 excel, 88 strength, 88 block shit. Great in the run game. 88 power move. He will get to the quarterback. 75 finesse low. I don't, I'm not really worried about that. He is mainly there for, for a run stopper. I would play him at defensive tackle in your scheme. 87 tackling. I think he will get through that defense, that offensive line. Uh, he has 86 hit power. He might force some fumbles. I've gotten a lot of sacks with this card. I use him on my Ravens team. Um... I just think he he just plays really well. His build is really well. He does get to the run, in, in the run game. He just he he he's, he's made good tackles on guys like Derrick Henry and Nick Chubb and guys like that. Um, so yeah, I have him at right end. Uh, I think he's the top right end. Um, if if you want to move like a, a more pass rusher over to like straight hand or Reggie White, you can do that. Put him at secondary position. But I have I have Marcus Spears here at right end. All right, guys, moving on to middle linebacker. Devin White, it's not close. This card is incredible. He gets the 90 speed powered up at middle linebacker. The only thing about this card, which really, uh, he really doesn't have value unless you run like 335 wide, you put him in an outside linebacker. He doesn't get lurker yet, and middle linebackers don't animate. It's so dumb because I like, so one of my favorite players, Ray Lewis, he's not usable anymore. It just, it, it sucks, but, um, I do have Devin White here, 89 speed, 89 excel, 90 hit power, 85 block shit. If this was Madden 20, 19, whatever, this card would be the, the the most wanted card in the game. But right now, he's just he's just really not usable. You have to have safeties out there, or in my opinion. But he is fast. He can you know he can tackle. He's good hit power. He is good zone too. But uh, I just don't think he's usable. Like, but he he is the best at his position. All right, guys, I decided to do a sub-middle linebacker, and that'll be Cam Chancellor. Um, this is the best card in the game. Like, it just overall in the game, he's the top card. It's not close. 94 speed, 97 excel, 93 tackling, 94 play rec, 93 pursuit, 88 man, 8, 94 zone, 93 hit power. i never seen a Cam Chancellor card this good. L last year, he was slow. Year before, slow. This year, he's incredible. He's the master. He's going to keep getting upgraded. This card would be the best user in the game the whole year. Um... And yeah, uh, he gets any team cam. He gets enforcer in his in his last ability slot for one AP. It's incredible. He gets acrobat. I have acrobat enforcer on him. This this card's really good. He has eighty seven block shed, and I can't tell you enough how important that is for me. I I, I run three three five wide. He gets through the offensive line. It's like he he just does. He it's incredible. He does better more than some of my defensive linemen. I don't understand why he just does. This card is incredible. He plays incredible. Um, I don't think it's close at all ever i don't think it will be he'll be the best card in the game for the rest of the year and i have cam chancellor here all right guys and i'm gonna do kicker and punter just to throw him in here justin tucker's the best kicker in the game he has he he, he has the best kick power accuracy combo he is he, he he just is he's the best kicker in the game i'm just gonna go by highest overall for these two all right let's go to punter and again right here i'm just gonna go highest overall punter johnny hacker um He's good kick power. Good at he has good accuracy, good awareness. Um, I think he might be able to throw the ball. Not well, he he can kind of throw the ball short and medium. Um, yeah, I just I'm just gonna buy highest overall and yeah, that's 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 really gonna round out the video. So let's get in the outro. All right, guys. Um, thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you want to leave a um a subscription, a like, a comment. Uh, turn the bell on. It really helps the channel out. It'll notify you from all my future videos. We do two videos a day. Two to three. It, it, it could range depending on content. Um, yeah, and uh, those are all the players I thought, I, or I think personally, are the best players at each position. Um, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye.